Look at this person celebrating this absurd award and Rachel Maddow giggling along next to her like the next move is to braid each other's hair. Watch this. You've talked about using some of Trump's money that you're about to get um, to help shore up women's rights. Do you know what that might be, what that might look like? Yes, or, Rachel. Or, yes. Tell me. I had such, such great ideas <laughs> for all the good I'm going to do with this money. First thing, Rachel, you and I are going to go shopping. We're going to get completely <laughs> new wardrobes, new shoes, motorcycle for Crowley, new fishing rod for Robbie. Rachel, what do you want? Penthouse? It's yours, Nothing. Rachel. Penthouse and uh, France? You want France? You want to go fishing nope. in France? No? Oh, all right, all right. Okay. That's a joke. <laughs> A Although joke. if if me fishing in France could yeah. do something for women's rights, I would take the hit. You know, I would obviously uh, take one for the team. The joy which with with which they are celebrating this absurd verdict is stomach turning. They know it's not fair. They know it's ridiculous. It's way above what even the lawyer had asked for. And by the way, that lawyer. Roberta Kaplan, Robbie, who's very talented in the courtroom. I wouldn't take that away from her. She's gotten good results for her clients. She's the one who effed the women when she worked for Time's Up, when Andrew Cuomo was the one in trouble. She's one of the ones who, found, when faced with the question of, hmm, it's a Democrat who's been accused. Hmm, what should I do? She decided to side with the Democrat and sold the women up the river, thus resulting in the closure of Time's Up. So she can spare me as they sit there talking about what champions they all are of women's rights. When it was a Democrat who was allegedly hurting the women, they had no time for them. You see, it's just when you're President Trump, they can change the laws to come after you. They can give you a nearly hundred million dollar judgment on defamation that if it happened at all, is at best worth a pittance. And no one, even someone calling herself a journalist, will even bother to challenge you on it. And instead, they'll joke about how they're gonna go shop for a new wardrobe, which by the way, Rachel Maddow does desperately need. <laughs> Joining me now, Glenn Beck. He's host of Blaze TV's The Glenn Beck Program and my neighbor here on Sirius XM Triumph Channel 111. Oh, I love any. I love anybody who can make a comment on Bergdorf Goodman uh, <laughs> and Rachel Maddow in the same, I don't think they've even <laughs> been near the same block. Um, you know, the thing about this, um, Megan, is that this case was so unbelievably weak in the first place. Um, she has yes. her credibility is nowhere to be found. She is accused a babysitter's boyfriend, a dentist, a camp counselor, an unnamed college date, an unnamed boss and uh, CBS uh, CBS chief uh, Les Moonves of either sexually harass, uh, not sorry, sexually assaulting or raping her in the past. I mean, wow, she's That's quite the target. Awful lot of people. She's yeah, yeah, don't quite don't the, go, don't be alone in a room with E. Jean Carroll if you are a man. <laughs> Note uh, yeah, to self. No, and then the the case itself. You, I know you've taken this apart, but I just don't understand. Why the jury couldn't hear things like, uh, you know, uh, well, I don't really know specifically when it happened. All I remember is I was wearing a Donna Karen coat dress, high heels, but but not a coat. Um, she said that it was unworn and unlaundered since that evening. <laughs> Wait, OK, first of all, that coat dress was not made in 94 or 95 who doesn't launder something after, I mean, you keep it mm. after a rape? Mm -hmm. You, I mean, it, 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 who was this jury? Can we not find people who are actually impartial? I'd be perfectly willing to send a Donald Trump to jail if you made a cogent case on it. But this isn't, this is banana rip, this is a joke. This is the same kind of jury, Glenn, as you know, that he's going to get on the Stormy Daniels hush money case. I mean, I know. He, he has zero chance of winning. That's why he didn't show up in the Eugene defamation Carol because uh, a, a trial because he knew that 
this jury was going to hate him. They were going to find against him. And at that point, it was limited to a $5 million award, which is a lot, but nothing near 83.3 million. E. Jean which Carroll is, is a bizarre person. Which is more than she asked for. What she is-, is way, way more. So look, you mentioned how she's a bizarre person. We pulled a little montage of some E. Jean Carroll moments on tape. Look at this in Sot 6. I like to stay up late. I like to sleep late and I like to live like 90 in between. I get up around noon and I stagger outside out the store and I throw open my arms and I thank God I don't have children. I worry at night when I'm in bed because you know, a line from me can change your life. Now, oh God. whether it changes for the better or for the worse, I don't know. I could not answer the questions coming into the Ask E. Jean column if I was in New York City. You can't think in New York if you're dating 16 people, which I would be doing if I were in New York. I call it the Mouse House because Wait, some very distinguished uh, mice live here. Uh, Kahneman lives in the kitchen. Taberski lives in the bedroom. On the door are the list of my dogs. Marky, Fortuna de la Spunky, Heidi, Tits, Bloody, and Hepburn. What's the best piece of advice I've ever given? What a horrible question to ask an advice column. Oh my God. Eat, drink, and be merry. That's it. I think she said she had a dog named Tits, but was really happy she had no children. So that's what we're dealing with here. You know, I grew up, um, you know, not in a wealthy family by any stretch of the imagination and um, in a poor section of town. And the person across from me, wonderful family, but they lived actually in a teepee. Okay. (laughs) Um, And, you know, it was it was one of those families that you're like, Oh, you know, I'm sure they're fine, but, you know, uh, um, and I, <laughs> Stay I here, think little that's Glenn. who she is. She's every person's, yeah, we've all had them somewhere on our block at some point in our life where you're like, you know what, do, do you might just want to, if she talks, you just wait, be nice, but just keep walking. Don't, don't stop and talk to her. <laughs> She's nuts. She's nuts. Yeah, she really, I mean, it's amazing to me. And so you have her there and you really think, okay, maybe, Maybe as a journalist, which Rachel Maddow still claims to be, you ask her a couple of tough questions, not a one. We played a montage the other day of what she had done in her first interview of E. Jean a couple months ago before this verdict um, came in. Yeah. Here were her tough questions last night. Sat two. What you're describing there in terms of him being nothing, him feeling like an animal, him feeling yeah. not intimidating. Was that a shock to you? Because, I mean, yeah. th- your guts here, your bravery here includes the physical bravery about being around him again. It sounds like it didn't oh, go the Lord. way you expected oh, it to. Gosh. The guts factor here is real in terms of how much you put yourself out there. I mean, you guys have made history a couple of times now. Right. Um, and you also have meant a lot um, and continue to mean a lot. You have um, been lighting the way, I think, for a lot of people in terms of both moral clarity and strategic acumen. And I really, Gosh. really want to thank each of you for making the time to come talk mm-hmm. to us. And I want, I, I wish you all uh, safety and rest. Mm. They're, they're all about women's rights. And that's why Rachel Maddow couldn't ask oh. her any tough questions, I guess, because this is all about women's rights now. Rachel Maddow said she's pro women's rights. Guess what? Rachel Maddow, despite apparently having a past as a competitive swimmer, guess what she said about Leah Thomas? Nothing, nothing. She doesn't give a damn about women's rights. She only cares about one thing, and that's Democrats advancing to positions of political power. But you know, this is all really coming undone. Have you felt that yet? All this stuff is coming undone. Uh, I, I don't know about, you know, the Donald Trump, the hatred of Donald Trump. And until you have a hold of the Justice Department and you shake this, uh, the nuts out of the tree, um, you you won't see it there. But I, I, I don't think the American people are there anymore. They're, they're not cowering. They're not like, oh, yeah, I've got to put my little black square up on my Instagram page today. They don't mm. care anymore. They've had it. And and what's happened is. For so long, people like you, people like me have saying, you can't do that. If you do that, this will happen. And your city will be a, a just a rat hole and there'll be poop all over the streets. And they're like, no, there won't be. That's crazy. We're going to do it. And they did it. Now everyone is aware 
about what's happening in our schools, what's happening in our communities, what's happening in Washington with both parties, that the the government really is not out for you, that really the whole banking system and these giant corporations are really trying to grab everybody by the throat. And they see it. They see it. The only, you know, the only factor here is, is that I, I don't, I don't know how many people would change their vote because Taylor Swift told them to change their vote. But I know. That, unfortunately, I there's a too. lot of those, I think. Yeah, I know. We'll get to that. That's one of the wackier things on the, on the internet over the past couple of days. Is I mean, like with everything, there's like a nugget of truth where you're like, yeah, that's real. and then it gets blown up into some huge thing where everybody's working together yeah. to you know, use Taylor to get Biden elected. Another thing on E. Jean Carroll, you know, she sued Trump for defamation because he said she was a kook. You know, he said she was she, she's made she's some lunatic who's made this whole thing up. I never assaulted her in Bergdorf Goodman after just passing her in the in the the lobby. Um, this isn't true. I don't know this person. Listen to what she gets away with, with no problem. She can go out and say all this about Trump. At this point now, if he says two more words about her, Glenn, he's going to get another $83 million judgment against him. But she can run out there on primetime, CNN, MSNBC, on ABC with Stephanopoulos. And, I, you know, I could go on saying things like this. Listen, Sot3. And there he was. And he was nothing. He was just no power. He had, he was zero. He's an emperor without clothes. It's like looking at nothing. He was like nothing. Like an emperor without clothes. He, he's just something in a suit. He was nothing. He was nothing. Mm. He was a phantom. He, it was the people around him who were giving him power. He himself was nothing he's nothing he is without he is like a walrus snorting (laughs) and like a rhino flopping his hand it was he is not there okay so he says this is actually probably pretty accurate uh if she's recounting what happened he was nothing it was like he wasn't there he was a phantom (laughs) yeah because he wasn't He wasn't. So maybe Maybe that's what you were seeing. I'm not sure. On Main Street, local credit unions and community banks are the heart of our small towns. When these institutions are united in opposition to the Durbin Marshall credit card bill, Congress might want to take note. Our sponsor, the Electronic Payments Coalition, says the Durbin Marshall credit card bill favors corporate megastores like Walmart and Target, shifting costs and risks unfairly onto credit unions, community banks, and the 140 million customers they serve. Find out more at electronicpaymentscoalition.org and see for yourself if you want to tell Congress to protect America's credit unions and community banks and oppose the Durbin Marshall credit card bill. Visit electronicpaymentscoalition.org to take action. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.